Tell you what, these couple of little blacks have been a little bit naughty. They are uh, still out. I had all the younger ones out before. I didn't really get a chance to film it. They've been sitting on the roof actually a bit. These ones have been trying, like, last year we had the naughty reds. This year I feel like we're getting some naughty blacks. I just really hard to get them in. They won't go in until like night time. And they've been sitting up here and walking around or whenever they want till pretty much night time. And I feel like I can hear some kind of falcon. Um, and there's this other hen here as well. That's understandable for her because she actually wants to go back into there. And I've broken everyone else in. It's just her. She's one of the older ones. And she slipped out before. Oh no, it's just one of the kestrels. They're okay. They chase the falcons away. But yeah, they are too. They're just real naughty, these little ones. They are pretty hungry too. They missed out on a bit of dinner last night because they didn't come in until... I was almost ready to go to bed. It was getting pretty late. Now, a little bit naughty, so... Um, we're going to have to try and break those ones in a little bit, I think. But these other ones are doing really well. They're coming in when they are cold. I'm not getting a lot of flying just yet because there's a little bit of a mixed bunch in here, some real young ones and a little bit older. Uh, but I'm happy how they're progressing anyway. There's not like, um, you know, a few people have said want to see them flying. They're not really doing much flying. They're sort of hanging around the loft roof and flapping around, things like that. So that's not too bad. Um, even today, I was up on the roof for quite a little bit of time putting up my new Starlink dish. And they were sort of flapping around. I didn't really see them flying too much. But I have installed that for later on. Because um, I want to do some live streaming this year. And our internet last year wasn't sufficient. So we've sort of upgraded a little bit. Which will give us um, a lot better quality when we go to live stream some of those returns. Which will be pretty cool. There's our little red check. Oh, merely, sorry. Don't have any red checkers. I really want some. But we'll get there. So today's Friday. And... First thing in the morning, I'm going to have to leave here just before 5 o'clock in the morning to get all these little babies up into the one loft. Well, I've got to get them on the aeroplane and get ready. So tomorrow they'll be sitting in that one loft race in Melbourne. So um, they're all pretty much ready to go. I do need to get in here and give it a little bit of a clean. But tomorrow there will be a video which will probably come out Sunday for everyone here in Australia. Um, which will be, I'll go through individually all these. Um, won't put in this video because it just gets too long, but I'll go through and say the breeding of this one, this one, um, and whatnot, because they're all very different. They're a very uh, bit of a mix in all these guys, and they are um, all really, really nice pigeons. If it wasn't for this one loft race, here he comes. This one doesn't like me being in the loft. Look at me stalking me. Um, if it wasn't for this one loft, we'd be pretty much done breeding. We'd have about 60 or so birds. I don't want too many birds. Um, at the moment just because life's super busy and um, I'm not going to race every race anyway So I only need enough to get through the um, sprint one But the okay, um, you want me to get out? We will in a minute I'm just showing everyone because um, this is probably going to be one of the last times everyone's going to get to see all you guys And then hopefully uh, some of you might come back and then we'll see is when you're all grown up So it'll be good. We'll do a bit of a comparison video um, of the birds that have come back if they do you're a bit of a character. Where's Zeta? We need to show her so class can see her. What's she doing? She's here somewhere. Oh, that's her up the back there. Come here. Come here. There she is. Look at her. Getting ready. These guys are crazy. But they're looking really good. I was a little bit concerned. I thought, oh, these weren't going to be that great because I didn't really get away that, well, there's very... Pretty much none of these pairs are the ones that I wanted to get into the one loft race. There's no Leo Storm, no 83, anything like that. Um, none of the best kittle lines. We just, it just didn't line up to get so many birds at once. So we'll see how we go. But I'm pretty happy anyway that um, they turned out that way. Maybe next year, next season, whenever the one loft is, we'll get some birds away. Better off ones anyway. So what can we do? All right, we need to have a look in here because... I've done a lot in here, which is really good. Um, so this, now, we've got the majority of the birds over in the, basically the majority of the breeding done anyway. So now it's kind of just a little bit of a play around. We'll bring a few pairs in here. So what I've done is um, you'll see, we'll just go through each pair at the moment so you know what's going on. So what I just did before is I brought in this Cassart cock that we've got here. His um, Sebastian Cassart one, I think. Um, so he's um, they're quite nice. He's one of the better ones out of the bunch. 
I've got two cocks and I wanted to breed out of this one. The other cock, he, um, his two babies are in the one loft team back there. They're the two really dark ones. So I want to get this guy breeding because the hen that he's paired up with didn't lay. So I paired him up with the sister. So she's actually got two babies in the one loft. They paired up pretty quick because both those cocks are the same. They've got different fathers, so they look identical basically. And her sister's the same. So they, before when they're in here together, they were getting confused. So he would chase a different hen and she would get chased by the other cock bird. It was just a bit funny really. Um, but this pair is looking really good. One of those naughty pigeons flying around out there. I really do want to breed from this cock bird. He's really, really like the condition of him since we've got him here. Got him on a bit of safflower and all that kind of stuff and a bit of pink mineral powder. He's one really, really nice pigeon. I definitely don't think he's going to be one that I'll get rid of anyway. Oh, and we've got Mr. Kruger at the back there. Look how good he looks. He's bounced back and he's um, chasing the hen like no tomorrow. So we're going to get some eggs from him very soon. Look at him. He's, he's pushing us. She's going to lay in the next day or two. She might actually lay today. So all I did with him, I gave him three days of the four-in-one, which is like a canker E. coli. And I think there was one other one in there. I think it was salmonella or something because I like the common one. So I just gave him three days of that. Once he finished that, I gave him one worming tablet and he just bounced back like it was really, really good and he's put a lot of weight on. So really happy because he will start laying some eggs in there for us as well. Um, I've noticed with the this pair, which is the Rayner Key Bonsal, whatever it is, can't even pronounce that properly, but um, they uh, she's getting ready to lay again. She's hanging around that nest. Everything's looking uh, really, really good. These look a bit scruffy, these pigeons, but um, I was a bit skeptical to start with them. They do have really good pedigrees and um, there's a lot of winnings and stuff on there with really, really big birdages, like, you know, up to 100, 120,000 birds or something. So I was like, oh, we'll give them a chance. And the babies that they've done, one round, do look really, really good. So I'm actually surprised the babies turned out so well. So I'm going to let these two just continue on and we'll definitely race all the babies that come. But he is pushing that little hen to go. Because they're both reasonably small birds and they kind of feel like feral pigeons. But, you know, the feral pigeons are generally the ones that win races, don't they? The feral looking ones. And big Leo's in here. You know what you want to show off for everybody? Good boy. Hey, he's a beautiful pigeon. So he's probably got the one round left here with Storm. We may let them keep going. Don't know, they haven't really bred much this year. Um, not really too stressed, because I'm not, not too worried. We've got plenty of babies and whatnot as well, but they're doing pretty well. That egg probably can't be too far away from hatching. Um, I did try opening this door up to try and break them in, into this box, but he, big Leo, went in there and he was fighting with my um, the cockbird that's in there, so slowly slowly he's a very dominating cockbird that one and he doesn't give up and fight so um, I do need to do it soon before they lay eggs because he will smash them and we don't want that but you will notice I took the front off here as well which is good I had the door open for a few days and they were coming in and out and look at that the best hen's already laid an egg look at that she's a beautiful little hen I'm just really disappointed that we've only got two babies off her so far so I'm hoping that this round is both of them are fertile she is a new hen, so you know that's to be reasonably expected. Um, but what can you do? Won't push her too hard because they'll probably this round, and then maybe one more after. And the one after this will probably be the potato birds. Still 50 50 where I'm going to enter it. It just depends on um, how much money we've got as well. So I've still got this box free, and we've got this bottom box free now. So we've got two boxes free. We'll let them ones keep going. We'll get them down for a few rounds because the babies that are coming out of this kind of combination, like I feel like they might be the best ones in that one loft race team. And we had a bit of problem too. He's a very dominating cock. You'll probably see he's a bit um, bloody up around the mouth there, around the beak. He's been big. King's been a bit naughty. Um, he's he was trying to take over this box down here. He's never in there. But as soon as he's seen that cockbird in there, he, they were fighting. So I put in another nest bowl up here and it seems to have settled things down a bit. I didn't expect our little mealy hen to sort of, you know, be ready to lay so soon. But yeah, looks like she is. And um, these will continue on as well. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Willie Teal. He's um, 
gave us the tiger grizzles and he's he really wants one of the um these mealies he wants a red mealy cockbird so i might send one of these babies over to him i was hoping for a pied one i really like to send him a pied one but we're just not getting anything at the moment but um, this pair is specifically put together because it's predominantly Vanderbilt. Um, he's 100% Vanderbilt, and she's around about 50%. But she's a um, beautiful little pigeon, this one. But I put them together to try and beat someone in my club who's got probably the best Vanderbilts in Australia. Um, they are really, really quick. And um, I'm hoping that we can try and keep up with him this year, which is kind of the goal with these guys, because um, both these lines done really well last year for us, but they just weren't quick enough. So hopefully this season we can get a few more rounds out of these um, and I'll get one cockbird away to Willie Teal um, because, you know, he gave us some birds. So I'm happy to send one of these little red cockbirds over to him. But they are a really beautiful pair, this one. I love this little hen. She's super. While we're here, we'll just have a quick little look at these babies. I think this one's a hen, and this one here might be the cockbird. But they are not too far off getting them out weaned I think they are um, they grow on really really quick and these parents are really good feeders no he doesn't want a bar of it but good little babies we're just pumping out the mealies this year it's quite nice but I'm still hanging in there for a red checker I really really want a red checker and I was hoping that one of these might turn out to be a red but it just definitely doesn't look like it at this point it just looks like we got two blues so I'm not complaining. This one's got some substantial amount of white on it. We looked at it last time, but there's um, quite a lot of white feathers in that one, so that's going to be very interesting. But it doesn't look like there's any white up in around the head yet, so it might not be pie, just a white flighter. But that's cool. We're definitely getting there. I was planning on taking this front off, but I the red checker cock that's in here is down there. Oh, I just love that cockbird too. He's, he's really, really nice. And the father of that little hen over there. Um, I want to pair up Rosetta in here with him next because I just have a real, real strong gut feeling that that pairing is going to be um, very, very dangerous in the race season. So I thought I'll get a couple, maybe a couple rounds out of them. So Rosetta will um, finish eggs into this month and we might bring her over here and do a round or two. And then cut it off but um yeah there's a little bit going on in here but i still don't know what i'm doing with this box here yet um or that one we've got a bit of um space left i kind of want to do a little bit of trickle breeding in here um only in this section then we can just ramp up the other one for flying and get these birds ready um and there's pigeons up on this roof there's one there there's those two blacks i'm just having a bit of trouble here let's have a quick look at them they are really really nice pigeons but they're just really naughty. We had naughty reds, now we've got naughty blacks. Ah. And then my black chickens. Anyway, season next video. I've got to get ready, get these birds into that one loft and uh, 